uh, the first one what happens to christians who intentionally sin after they are saved well you know i get asked this question um with more frequency than i should um and the way i respond to it is i ask the person who's asking the question if they're saved and they say yes and i say have you intentionally sinned after you were saved okay and um and then they say yes because every single one of us has done that and then i ask the question are you continuing to intentionally sin after you saved they say yes <laughs> because everyone does that okay and then i ask when jesus came to die for you which sin did he come to die for the ones you intentionally did or only the ones you did by accident and they think of for about it for a moment and they realize well he came to die for all of my sins because if some of the sins are not forgiven then then we're lost completely okay and so then i say well i think you've answered your question I mean, the fact is if jesus penalty on the cross did not pay for all the sins we commit even the ones we intentionally commit after we're saved then we're not saved at all it's just that simple now i think that some people are concerned to say that by by uh because they think that means well that just gives us the freedom to sin and uh, i guess the way i'd want to respond that is to that is in a certain sense it gives us the freedom to sin but not the liberty to sin it isn't permission to do whatever we want it means that however our life goes and whatever sins we do commit in the future those things are going to be forgiven by god uh in fact they already have been forgiven by god that's the point of the cross and i, I read especially hebrews 10 and it talks about the sacrifice that jesus made once for all and i realized that all of my sins are covered and if they aren't i have no access to the father right jesus is the advocate who constantly makes intercession for my sin and if he didn't again i would be lost and anybody who wants to push back on that i would say okay well then tell me what the alternative is the alternative is that he uh if i'm saying he does forgive sins that we commit after intentionally commit after we're saved and you want to disagree well the only alternative is he doesn't do that but that would mean no one would be saved you know so you know that that doesn't make any sense with the cross the point here isn't to encourage sin the new birth puts us in a new place with god so that we are we are not interested let me back it up we we are not we are inclined to obey him we are not inclined to disobey him so last comment on this one uh paul and that is there's a, a verse in psalms chapter 130 that for me is a really significant uh is a really significant psalm and that psalm is uh, the verse says lord if you should mark iniquity in other words if you're keeping track of our sins if you should mark iniquity oh lord who could stand but there is forgiveness with you that you might be praised if god is keeping track of only one tenth of one percent of my sins i'm lost if he's marking any iniquity of anyone then no one can be saved but the work of the cross is a powerful um, sacrifice to cover all sin and if it doesn't cover all sin it doesn't cover any sin mm -hmm.